first horror at a Warren High School. I think they're gonna be probably scarred for life. An honor student stabbed to death inside a classroom. Tonight, what police say led up to the violence and what's being done to help the students scarred by this tragedy. It is a heartbreaking crime that has devastated two families and has shaken the city of Warren. Two girls, both honor students, one using a kitchen knife to stab the other. Police saying this all started with an argument over a boyfriend. The tragedy unfolding inside a classroom full of students at Fitzgerald High School in Warren. Our Team 7 coverage begins with 7 investigator Simon Shaykat live in Warren uncovering new information about how all this unfolded. Simon. Dave Glenda, what a classroom witnessed was both horrific and deadly. And since then, we have learned that the suspect was able to sneak a kitchen knife into school because there were no metal detectors on site. Students from Fitzgerald High School taking to Facebook today with an outpouring of sadness following the stabbing death of a classmate identified as 16-year-old Daniela Gibson. Messages of grief were posted following the arrest of a 17-year-old girl seen here on cell phone video. She allegedly stabbed Daniela twice in the chest, wounds that ultimately claimed her life just before 9.30 a.m. I know that the uh, school resource officer uh, is having a very difficult time. It's just a, a true tragedy. Police have since recovered a murder weapon and say the altercation was prompted by competing interests for the victim's boyfriend. I mean, you're, you're talking about uh, two young ladies that were students that were going to school to learn. We've learned the victim's boyfriend had previously dated the suspect. Both the suspect and victim were also friends at one point, straight A students with no prior issues. The victim was in the school band, honor guard, student council, and many other activities. Police say the suspect has already made certain admissions and is expected to face murder charges. I can't emphasize enough that, uh, you know, how the, uh, this department feels, the, the sadness and the prayers that goes out to the uh, victim's family. Is closed today and tomorrow. Also, grief counselors are being provided. We now continue our live coverage with Amira David. Amira? Yeah, Simon, and certainly one of the hardest facts to grapple with, knowing 20 to 30 students were inside the classroom watching all of this unfold firsthand. At least one parent telling us today she wants to see this school more secure. That's somebody's child, and I couldn't imagine what that parent's going through right now. Alicia Hazard is the parent of a senior who was inside the high school when this morning's incident unfolded. One teen girl fatally stabbing another, prompting the immediate release of 900 plus students, many of them walking away in shock. I think this is really crazy. Like I wasn't expecting something like this. Another student writing on Facebook, you didn't deserve this, such a sweet person, and we were just getting started on our senior year. It's sparking serious concerns from parents about the well-being of their kids when they send them off to a supposedly safe place every morning. But there's too much bullying, there's too much fighting, there's too much gun threats, bomb threats. I mean, come on, our kids are supposed to feel safe going to school. Police confirm the school has no metal detectors, but Commissioner Bill Dwyer believes security responded appropriately. The school resource officer did a superb job. He was there administering CPR within seconds trying to save this young girl's life. We do everything possible to prevent these type of tragedies. Dwyer says he'd advocate for metal detectors in the future, but for the 20 to 30 students who witnessed this horrific stabbing attack, the damage may already be done. I think they're going to be probably scarred for life. And certainly going to be a lot of emotional trauma going forward. As Simon mentioned, there are going to be grief counselors on hand when these students return, but surely a sour note to kick off this school year. For now in Warren, Amira David, 7 Action News. Amira, thank you. 7 Action News will continue to follow this story. Coming up, how the weapon